Hey, I'm Stein, and in this segment of Keeping It Simple, we want to show you how to cook a wahalote in your hook and cook barrel barbecue. What's a wahalote? It's a turkey. Just sounds way cooler to say it in Spanish. We'll give you some ideas on how to prep it and get it ready. We'll show you how to modify your grill to put a turkey in it. Also, let you know how to keep track of your cooking times because remember, always, there's no peaking. And most importantly, when we're all done, we'll pull it out, let you get a nice close look at it. We'll cut into it, maybe pull it apart a little bit. So let's go ahead and let's get started. All right, so let's give you some great information on getting your wajolote into your hook and cook. Rule number one, we always follow no frozen or partially frozen birds in our barrel. So go ahead, make sure it is thawed completely. Then pull the giblets in the neck out and wash it, rinse it well, and get it into your tray to be seasoned. Now here's some great seasoning options. One of them is doing a brine on your bird. If you're gonna do a brine, remember you start the day before. You're gonna cook up some spices and dissolve a lot of salt in some water. Most importantly to remember as well, cool it down before you put your bird in it. You don't wanna ruin it. Then soak it for about 12 to 24 hours and then it'll be ready to go. There's some great recipes for those online or you can find kits for them in your supermarket around the holidays. Another kit you can find is an injection kit like this. You inject a Cajun seasoning into your bird and then sprinkle it with the Cajun seasoning. We've done those and they've come out great. We're gonna try something a little bit different today. Recently I saw a picture online where they lay sliced bacon all over the bird and I wanna give that one a shot. Now, there's typically two types of birds out there, one with the pop-up timer and one without the pop-up timer. Right now, rule of thumb is internal temp on your wajolote needs to be right around 165 to 170 degrees. However, these pop-up timers are set at, at around 180 degrees Fahrenheit. So if you're using that pop-up timer, make sure once you pull it out, you're ready to serve it because if you let it rest for too long, it'll keep on cooking and you don't want to dry out your bird. Another option is getting a long stem thermometer like this one. And I picked this one up fairly inexpensive at a hardware store and we'll show you how to set that into your hooking cook when we bring it out there. Another rule of thumb that we're gonna to follow today is about 15 minutes per pound. We've got a 14 pound bird here, so we're gonna go for about three and a half hours. Now, we're gonna get everything all set, get our barrel lit, show you how to modify it. So let's go ahead and bring you out to our hook and cook barrel barbecue. All right, here we are out at our hook and cook and we're ready to hang our bird into our barrel barbecue. We've got our coals lit and lowered all the way to the bottom. We use about 15 pounds of coal because we're gonna be doing such a long cook today. Now, instead of using our rods and hooking and hanging our bird, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hook and hang the grill. And here's how we'll do that. Our rods typically will go through these six holes, but instead of doing that in our upper outer holes, we're gonna put our meat hooks in there. Then we're gonna hang our grill on those meat hooks and position our turkey on top of that grill. So I'll go ahead, carefully set that grill right on top of those hooks now that's simple enough and it's ready to go. Then I'll position my bird with the breast facing towards these outer holes for a couple reasons. Remember, there's never any peaking, but with that center hole open, I can take a look in there and see if my pop-up timer has popped up or if I wanted to, I could take my long stem thermometer, put it into my bird to check its internal temperatures. So we'll go ahead and position our bird right inside there, just like that, perfect. Then we'll go ahead, set our lid on there. Now, we'll go ahead, wait our designated time, and start checking it. When it's all said and done, we'll pull it out, bring it in, slice into it, and give you a really nice look at it. All right, so let me show you how you can check your pop-up timer or stick your long stem thermometer into your bird. Now, this might seem a little rudimentary, but all you need is a flashlight like this. You shine it here, you look here, and I can see my pop-up timer perfectly. Or if I need to set my long stem thermometer, it's the same thing. I shine my light here, I look here, and I can precisely set that long stem thermometer right to the side of my wahalote. Now, 
I set my mark, I'll know right when it's done and right when it's ready to be pulled out. All right, so let me give you a quick tip or trick on keeping a more consistent cooking temp for your hook and cook barrel barbecue, especially when you've got a long cook time like on your guajolotes. Here's what I would do. If my temp gauge drops below 200 down to 150 or anywhere in that range, what I'll do is I'll take my lifting hook without pulling everything out and losing my temperature and making a big mess. I've got eight holes that are just the right height, so they're just above my disc. I'll take that hook and in every other hole, I'll slide it in there and very gently just move those coals around. And what you'll see right away is your temp gauge will rise and it'll keep a more consistent temp for the duration of your cooking time and it'll ensure great results. Okay, so here we are. This is the gray part. We get to pull our bird out and see how nice it came out. So our temp gauge is giving us 170 degree read and I'll set that down here. That's exactly where I wanted it to be in that breast. Also, we're about three hours and 40 minutes, just above our three and a half hour cook time. So I know we're on the mark on our time. Now the lid's gonna be hot, so I'm gonna use gloves to lift it back and then we'll carefully put our turkey in there. Here's how we'll do it. Pull this back carefully. I'll pull my gloves off. I've got a set of hooks here. What I'll do is I'll place my hooks into the side of that bird, carefully lift him out and set him into that pan. There we go. Now, we'll bring him in, let him rest for a few minutes, cut into him, and give you a good close look of how nice he is. Okay, now we've come to my favorite part. We're gonna pull this bird apart, slice this bird apart. It smells so good and that bacon looks so crispy. I'm gonna go ahead right off the bat and make me a nice turkey club sandwich. So we can get a good look at it. We sliced into it a little bit. We'll pull that back. We'll go ahead and slice into it a little bit more. Go ahead and kind of just rip into there and pull it apart. Oh, it's tender. Oh, it's so good. Hopefully, we've showed you a way that you can make a nice wahalote and your hook and cook barrel barbecue. As always, remember, eat responsibly. And for keeping it simple, I'm Steiny. Feliz dia de la Guajalote.